Question 10. The function f is defined by f of x is equal to 8x plus 5 over 2x plus 3 for x is greater than negative 3 over 2. Find f to the minus 1, 3 over 2. So I want to find the inverse function of this f of x. And then I want to be able to substitute in 3 over 2 to see what the inverse function gives me. So I'm starting with f of x equal to 8x plus 5 over 2x plus 3. Now I like to think of it as y equals to 8x plus 5 over 2x plus 3. This makes it simpler to rearrange because when I inverse a function, I'm essentially wanting to reverse it. So I want to rearrange to make x the subject of this equation. Multiplying both sides up by 2x plus 3 gives me 2xy plus 3y is equal to 8x plus 5. Now I want x equals, so I want to bring my x's to the left hand side. So subtracting 8x and subtracting 3y from both sides gives me 2xy minus 8x is equal to 5 minus 3y. I can factorise now for x, which gives me x lots of 2y minus 8. I can now divide through by that 2y minus 8. So x in terms of y is x is equal to 5 minus 3y over 2y minus 8. Now this is how I find an inverse function. To write it, my x is my inverse and I put x's back for my y's. So my inverse function is 5 minus 3x over 2x minus 8. Finding the inverse function with 3 over 2, I substitute 3 over 2 into this equation and I get negative tenth. In part b, I want to show that f of x is equal to some constant plus b over 2x plus 3, where a and b are constants to be found. Now there are a couple of different ways you can go about doing this, but I like to write it out equal to each other and then compare coefficients. So starting from my f of x equal to a plus b over 2x plus 3, I'm going to substitute my f of x as 8x plus 5 over 2x plus 3. Now in order to equate coefficients it's easier to multiply both sides up by 2x plus 3. So I have 8x plus 5 is equal to a lots of 2x plus 3 plus b now I want to compare the coefficients. So comparing coefficients of x, on the left hand side the coefficient of x is 8 and on the right hand side of this equation the coefficient of x would be 2a. This gives me that a is equal to 4. Looking now at the numerical term on the left hand side I have 5 and on the right hand side I will have 3a plus b. I know a is 4 so this is 12 plus b, therefore b is equal to minus 7. And I can write my function as 4 minus 7 over 2x plus 3. So a is 4 and b is negative 7. The function g is defined by g of x is equal to 16 minus x squared between 0 and 4. Now for one mark I want to state the range of the inverse. Now this is the domain of g of x and when you inverse a function the roles of the domain and range switch. So actually the range of my inverse function is going to be the domain of my original function. So with an inverse function the roles of domain and range are swapped. So the range of my function is between 0 and 4. Part d I want to find the range of f g minus 1. Now I've just found the range of g to the minus 1. The range is 0 to 4. That means the output of this function are all the values between 0 and 4. Now they are going to be going into the function of f. Because when you have composite functions written like this, your value goes into the right hand side first. So I'm putting x into my g to the minus 1. 
and then the result is going into F. So F is being fed, if you like, by the range of g to the minus 1. Another way that may help you picture this is to imagine the inputs or the domain going first into the inverse of g and then those outputs, which would be the range of g inverse, going into or feeding f as the domain. So the final range is the output of f g inverse. So as I know the range of g to the minus 1 is between 0 and 4, I can find the limits in this composite function by substituting 0 and 4 into f. Putting 0 into f gives me 5 thirds. Putting 4 into f gives me 32 plus 5 over 8 plus 3, which is 37 elevenths. That gives me a range for f inverse g of greater than or equal to 5 thirds and less than or equal to 37 elevenths.